validating fast in Nest.js may not be what you expect. The documentation of Nest.js shows the following code for uploading a file where we can assign the validators. For validating the file type, they have a class called file type validator where you can define what file types you want to validate. However, there's one issue with this. For example, let's upload a real PNG image file. It will check the extension in the file name. In this case, the PNG matches with what we have defined. So the validation succeeds and it proceeds with the route. However, what if we use a fake PNG file that is not an image? When validating, it will still succeed and see it as a real PNG file. We don't want this and Nest.js also tells us not to use this validator for serious matters. What Nest.js tells us to do is to also check the MIME type, which stands for Multipurpose Internet Mail Extensions. We can identify with MIME types and the matching signatures if a file that claims to be for example a PNG file to be a real PNG file. The MIME types for JPEGs and PNGs are image slash JPEG and image slash PNG. And the signature for those MIME types are the following. The list may not contain all the signatures for the MIME types. However, most image files will work with these. If we put this in code, we get the following. Finally, we need to make a file type pipe that we will use to validate these files we receive. Let's start with creating the standard way of creating pipes in Nest.js. Then, let's import pipe transform with two genetic types as express.multer.file for type safety. Then, let's create a constructor where we will put a parameter content type that is an array and tells what MIME times you only want to accept for the file. Content type is a simple type that holds string literals of image slash JPEG and image slash PNG, but you can add more yourself. Finally, let's implement a transform function where we will validate the file. We will first validate if the file has the correct extensions. Currently, we don't extensively check for the right extension, but for the normal vetted image extensions. Then, we need to get a signature from the file and we use the getMimeType function we just created that will return the MIME type that matches with the signature from the file. Finally, we will check if the content type from the constructor matches the MIME type from the file. If not, then we will throw an exception that the file is invalid. If the file type is valid, then we will simply return the file. Let's go back to the route for uploading a file and replace the old file type validator with our new file type pipe. Now let's go back to the image showcase and replace the old file type validator with our new file type pipe and try to validate the image. When we check the image on the screen, we first check the extension. We see that it's a valid file extension. If we further check the file MIME type, in this case it's also a real PNG, so it's a valid file. Now let's remove the image and use a fake PNG file. If we try to validate the file again, we see that the file extension is a valid PNG file. However, since it's a fake PNG file, the signature from the file does not match the MIME type, which results the validator into throwing an exception that the file is invalid. Now, let's try to validate the WebP file. If we try to validate it, it does not match the extension, so we don't have to check further with the signature, and can directly throw an exception. This is basically how you can validate a file type deeper than just only checking the extension. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.